Welcome to part 9 in my series on drum kit ergonomics and setup. Today we're going to be talking about the kit of Thomas Lang, who I'm sure anyone who's into drums knows, but basically Thomas is a German drummer. He endorses Meinl, DW, Vic Firth, Remo, Roland, Ahead, Pure Sound, Bigfoot, Hands and Foots, which I don't know what that is, and Audix. And uh, this makes him quite sought after as a drummer and as a, an endorser, obviously. Um, he's a session guy. He's a studio guy. He's a clinician. Um, he's got a couple DVDs, Creative Coordination and Creative Control, and he's pretty awesome. So this is Thomas' main clinic kit. It's not really what he would bring to the studio, but it's what he tours around with um, because it gives him a ton of different options to demonstrate things on, basically. Uh, and he did give me permission to use this. It's off his website, but I talked to him about it. Anyway, this follows most of the principles of ergonomics pretty well. You can see that if you draw a straight line through the throne and the snare, you come up right in the middle of his rack toms. You've got a crash on either side. You've got a hi-hat to the left. You've got actually a hi-hat also to the right and also a ride to the right. Um, he's a pretty big guy, so they're not too far to reach. Um, his drum set does go around pretty far to the back, and the last cymbal and the last couple floor toms on either side would sort of be behind him, but he's actually packed more drums and cymbals in front of him in an ergonomic position than most people with half as many items on their drum kits. So he's done a pretty good job setting it in there in a way that's playable for him. You can see he's got eight pedals on this kit and they're all right on the pedal arc. I actually used this image in the uh, pedals video because uh, they are set up really nicely. Um, and because he likes to play in a lot of ostinatos on his feet. So here's the diagram of this kit. There's a few cool things about it. Um, basically, uh, he plays two 24-inch kicks, um, and he plays two snares, a ton of toms, 8, 10, 12, 16, 18, and a 20-inch gong bass drum. He's got uh, three uh, rata toms, which are kind of like octobons. They're a depth bass drum, and they're 12, 14, and 16 inches uh, deep, actually. They're all the same diameter. Um, and then he has a, just a bajillion minor symbols. Um, they're all sort of mostly the Byzantz uh, or the Gen X series. Um, you can see that D and M are both hi-hats. K is his sand ride. Um, e and I are both crashes. So everything's symmetrical. Everything's right where it should be. So he's got an extra 18 inch kick. He's got a couple of electronic pads on pedals and he's got two of the cymbals have pedals. So uh, even though this seems excessive, his style is to play a lot of ostinatos with his feet and then solo over it with his hands. So this makes sense for his style of playing and for his body size. It actually really is pretty good for how big of a kid it is. 